Hello everyone and welcome to what I'm going to call couch vlogs because I'm sitting on my couch and it's quite comfortable. It might be where I make uh, little messages in the future. So I just finished reading a book called The Fountainhead. It's a book by Anne Rand and quite frankly I hated this book. Um, you know, here's a little picture of the book cover right here. Um, but yeah, I hated this book. And there's just nothing that can be done about that. This is one of those slowly paced books that I read. It was really long. Um, just to give you an example. On one section, three pages were used. Three whole pages were used to describe the setting of a room. Another three pages, another place was used to describe someone's appearance. Okay, yes, yeah, some might say this is just, you know, rich storytelling. I beg to differ. I call this just plain bad, okay? Let me go and read to you what I can, what I wrote, okay? Well, where do I start? I want to start off by saying that when I first learned we were going to read a book by Anne Rand, I was excited for because I have read the book, the um, Anthem, Anthem by Anne Rand. That is a good book. Um, anyways, even upon learning that the book was about 2,000 pages long, I was excited. Upon reading the book, however, I'm let down, suffice to say. This has to be the absolutely most boring, overwoodered book I've ever read. That being said, it does have a decent storyline. Overall, I get the book about 3 out of 10 stars. I take off for the following. Overworded descriptions, unnecessary sex, and then the general slow pace of the book. I do have to give points back to the book, though, even though I hated it, because the content is boring. I think that the general idea of the storyline was pretty decent. In fact... It some might call it excellent, but again, to me, the content was just boring. And here's an example it sometimes takes three pages just to describe a setting a room or someone's description. Another thing I take off points for is just a sad feeling that this book leaves you for. It's like eating something you don't like and it, you know, gives you a bad taste in mouth. It's like that. And then I also really hated the character in the book called Peter Keating. He is by definition an unfaithful man. In fact, I think he sets the precedence for what unfaithful men are like. Um, no spoilers there, just know he's an awful person. Um, I would, however, like to thank Dr. Jones, who is uh, my English teacher, for making me read this book. Not because I like this book in any capacity whatsoever. In fact, I truly hated this book. But he could have had us read any other book. Let me explain. Dr. Jones could have made us read a Christian book that has a deep spiritual message. Um, I would have enjoyed that. I, I'm a Christian. I love reading books that have good messages. That being said, he didn't. He made us read a book that is full of sex, bad language, and quite frankly, a downright boring and depressing story. To me, that does support my philosophy and what I'm sure his philosophy too. This is the philosophy of not censoring books. And that is because once you start to censor books, where does it stop? I can tell you it doesn't. I mean, we have books in the libraries that are classic, like Tom Sawyer. That book is banned in a lot of libraries. You know, you have the Bible is the most banned book from libraries. Okay? But, you see, censorship is bad overall. Okay? It is because if you censor knowledge from people, you censor a part of life. You censor a part of our history. But though this book was uh, by far the worst book I've ever read and definitely the worst experience I've ever had, I have ever had, I give brownie points to Dr. Jones for being anti-censorship. I still give the book, you know, 3 out of 10 stars. Well, there you guys have it. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, there you guys have it. My rant of this book. Um, I would not recommend this book to anyone unless you're being paid a couple million dollars to re read it. Um, may hey, maybe getting a small loan for it. Just saying. Um... Yeah, so don't read this book. It's awful, but, you know, I guess it's all right. Again, 3 out of 10 stars. Hope you enjoyed this. This has been another Couch Vlog. See ya.